Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Security Lock feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we have an Alcatel 7 that's originally from Metro here in the US, and this device does indeed have the Google Account Lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the initial setup steps, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the Google Account that was previously on the device. So over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device after doing a factory reset and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset, or because they purchased the device used from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovered the lock, and of course, they weren't going to have the previous user's login information, and, the and in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared, since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a, serv a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you, you would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So as you guys can see very clearly, the device was on the Google Lock page, and then I just powered it off, and then I plugged it into my computer program here that goes ahead and takes care of the lock for us. Now that that's been done, all we have to do is reboot the phone, and then we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the initial setup steps without seeing that Google Lock. All right, we are fully rebooted here and good to go. So the first step here is gonna ask us about connecting to a mobile network. We're not gonna be doing that at this time though. So we're just going to hit skip and keep going. And then it'll ask us about copying apps and data, which we do not need to do. And now you'll notice on this screen, instead of where the device was previously asking us to sign in with the previous Google account that was used on it, it now just will allow us to sign in with any Google account, or we even have the option to create a whole brand new one if we want to. So that's a great indication that the lock has successfully been removed. We're going to keep skipping through the rest of the initial setup steps, though, just to make sure that we can actually get to the home page. We don't need to put a name on the phone. We don't need to set up fingerprint lock. We don't need a pin or password either. So we're going to skip those. Oof, we don't need face unlock either. We also don't need to schedule auto updates at this time. We're going to read and agree to all the Google services on that page. We don't need anything else there. And then after this, we should be good. Yep, so when we tap finish down there, Yep, there we go. We can see that the device's main home page is loading up. We have access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, we're gonna pop into the settings just to show you and verify exactly what we are working with. So when we go in the settings and then down under system and then about phone, we can indeed see that under model here, it shows 6062W, so that's Alcatel's specific model number for the Alcatel 7 that is originally from Metro.
So if you have one of these Alcatel 7s originally from Metro and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information can be found right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our info there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.